we've been in this house 20, probably 25 years now. My wife and I, we were high school sweethearts. I never had any ambition to go to college. My parents worked at General Electric, which gave me the end to get in there. Uh, I started there in 1989, and I, that, that was a job that should have took you to your retirement, like it did for my parents. By the end of this month, 160 workers at Bloomington's General Electric refrigerator plant are out of jobs. Well, 13 Investigates has now learned about a big layoff. More than 300 people lost their jobs. This is the latest example of jobs promised for Indiana that are now gone. So where are the jobs? Well, traditional manufacturing has, has gone away. You know, these are thousands of positions that were here that were good paying jobs that you know, aren't, aren't here anymore. And you know, the future is high value life science manufacturing, at least in our region, particularly Bloomington, Monroe County. The community realized that, invested time and resources and money in a facility with Ivy Tech's partnership to fill that void. And now you have employers who are seeing the, the fruits of that. They're finding trained employees that are ready on day one. We appreciate Ivy Tech and the county working together a number of years ago to actually establish the Indiana Center for Life Sciences. As a, it's particularly important to our business, we're growing. Uh, we're in the life sciences sector and we appreciate the cultivation of local talent. What Ivy Tech has done in regards to this community is they've looked to see what the community needs. The instructors at Ivy Tech developed curriculum and coursework based on that need. I was surprised about what Ivy Tech and the Center for the Life Sciences, simply what they had. Walking through the hallway and looking in the labs, they have so many things that are actually used in industry rather than simply academic. I think a lot of people have this misconception that community college means less less good, and really it doesn't because the lab equipment here is far superior, this, these facilities are far superior than anything I would have gotten at the four-year school. We had a rough two to three years there when I got laid off. I didn't want to follow GE around. I could have. I could have transferred to a different location. You know, that means uprooting your family, your roots. That's not something that I was willing to do. So the biotechnology program at Ivy Tech, the life sciences program, that's where you've got Cook, you've got Baxter, you've got Boston Scientific, you know, Lily. Indiana's a big base for it. So by getting those skills, I had the option of finding a job and staying put where I'm at. Coming to Ivy Tech was probably the best decision for me. After I finish my two-year degree, I have the potential to immediately go into a career because they teach you the real hands-on experience that you need here to immediately go and get a job. It's not simply a, here's just a few science classes, bye, good luck. I was matched with several different companies and interviewed Cook Pharmaca, interviewed Baxter. It made me feel like there was so much more hope for going into my career and actually making a career rather than jobs here and there. Anyone can build a building, but it's the people that count. So our working relationship with the people at Ivy Tech to advance the cause for the community as well as our business interests, that's what matters. There's something about the Indiana Center for the Life Sciences that would be hard to put on a website. Each and every teacher I had there was willing to take the extra time. If you wanted to learn, they would help you. I think one of the most inspirational things about biotechnology is the ability or the potential that we have to create all of these cures and genetic therapies and, you know, awesome things that will improve people's lives. We're a growing business and the, uh, the need to the growing business, we have a need for talent. And we've hired 43 people that have gone through their program, whether that be through internship or full-time employment. So as we grow, we'll continue to uh, look to Ivy Tech to help us cultivate that talent locally. Well, the biggest challenge, I mean, is finding people with the right skills. And I think that's where Ivy Tech comes into play. I mean, they train these people with the skills that, that we need to, to run a business. Next year, we're going to be growing probably to 20 to 25 employees, 
and I would see probably seven or eight of them coming from Ivy Tech. There was 300 of us that got laid off, and I still talk to several of them that don't have a secure job or don't have a high paying job is what I do. Uh, as of as of this morning, I've been at Cook Pharmaca for eight and a half years. I'm an associate scientist in the purification development group. My daughter got to see me reinvent myself. I, looking back going forward, I don't think I would have changed anything. The biggest need of business in this area is trained people. And you know our students, the you know, people who are losing opportunities, um, they're looking for hope, and they're looking for a career, and this is a place where we know they're gonna be um, you know, right now and then five years from now and um, the Center for Life Sciences really was born to do it.